Hi everyone, uh, welcome to a video tutorial on the Drake's Tail Cut. So I, I'm doing this on a run I'm working on at the moment with a friend of mine called Asland, and I, I've been working really hard to try and get this consistent. So this is the Drake's Tail Cut here to get the Drake Sword after the Taurus Demon. And I find this to be the most problematic segment of the start of the run. So I've done my best to find a really consistent, easy way to do it so that um, you, you can do it pretty much every time. Um, and it, the, the, the little things I've found have worked really well for me. So uh, first of all, just to explain where I've stolen most of this from, a lot of this is taken from Kamal. Uh, so he does this on his world record run for all bosses. Just watch him. He does this way better than I ever will. Also, uh, Asland has pointed out a lot of really, really good stuff, like putting the bow in the offhand, and that makes it much easier. So, um, let's walk through it quickly. So our setup is we've got a shield and bow in the left hand, and then I'm going to use the dagger. So that the a lot of the weapons are going to take three hits to get the tail cut. So if I'm using the short sword, it's going to be three hits. If I'm using the dagger, it's going to be three hits. But the difference is the short sword needs to be two-handed, which means you can't use um, a shield. And it's still three hits. Whereas the dagger is three hits, but it's one-handed. You can use So you can use the shield to defend against the archer. And also, it's much, much quicker at swinging, which means there's... Uh, you can get the tail much quicker and there's less chance of the dragon doing uh, a shorter burst and flying off or just you being slow and him taking off before you can get it. So what we're going to do, we'll, we'll run forward into the corner. So, so let's just cover the run first. My technique for the run is I go to this pillar here and then I start running. This for me gives me a very, very consistent uh, push into this corner and I don't get hit by the fire. This is the best way I've found, right? So just run to the pillar and then run to this corner and that works pretty well. Next, we press R1 to two hand our bow and we select our gold pine. And what we're gonna do is run forward to a spot, dodge left, shoot, dodge right, apply gold pine and then uh, get the tail cut. Now the, the keys are when the bow's equipped in the left hand, um, you're gonna, uh, let me just come it out. So you wanna go R1 to two hand R1 to aim. Uh, what am I saying? It's not R1, is it? So, L1 to two hand, L1 to aim, R1 to fire, then L1 to unaim, left arrow to equip the shield, uh, square to apply the gold pine, and then we get the tail cut. Got that? <laughs> and we're going to do that while running forward. So, basically, from here, we two hand, we're going to run to this white patch here. And then we duck left to dodge. We shoot. We apply. So that was an... Yep. And then we tank. And then we, we're just going to take that hit because we want to get the tail cut. And then we push forward. Do not press X to clear the Drake Sword box. Okay? Because there are too many items there to pick up. So we're going to go through that again. So I'll I'll talk through I'll talk through the command sequence and then we'll show it again, okay? So you're gonna run forward, you get into the corner, press L1 to two hand, then we're gonna run out, run to the little white patch, and that'll put us in the right position to dodge the archer to the left. Then we R1, R uh, L1, R1 to shoot, L1 to unaim, left on D-pad to get out our um shield. Duck to the right, apply the gold pine, and then go forward. Okay? Cool. So let's give us a go. We run to the pillar, and a flat out sprint to the corner. Duck into the corner, hit L1 to double aim, watch for the flames to finish. Run to the white patch, duck left, L1, R1, L1, left on the D pad. Square to apply the resin. Shield up. Get the tail cut. Don't press X to clear the box. Push through. Activate. I think, seeing me do that, I might want to tank that extra arrow hit before I start the cut. Yeah, so I reckon we can tank an extra arrow hit before we get that tail cut. So, we'll do it one more time. 
So the, the key things for me here are to make sure I've got my bow in my left hand, right? I've got gold pine on my bar, and I've got my dagger equipped. And then I want to make sure, ideally, my dagger is going to be, uh, my bow will be out. And I'm. Oh, you can switch to gold pine in a minute, but uh, normally after Taurus fight, you're going to come here with Estus, right? So that's the setup we want, and we run. Select your gold pine. L1 to two hand. Push out from the flames. Go left. Shoot. L1. Up. There we go. The thing I really like about the dagger as well is that there's much less chance of you clipping into the wall than if you're trying to do it with a short sword. Um, which which stuns you as you bounce off of it. Um, so you kind of have to aim left if you're using the short sword. The dagger's just great. It's so fast. Um, so I know this, probably, this video's probably going on a bit, and most of you have, have probably stopped watching by now, but we'll just do it one more time. Okay, so to talk through the command, so I go here, I'm going to run, I L1 to two hand, uh, select the gold pine, then I come out, L1 to aim, R1 to shoot, L1 to come out of aim, left on the D-pad to get my shield, duck to the right, Square to apply gold pine, then tank one hit, run forward, probably tank another hit, then one, two, three. Okay? Yeah. So the trick must activate as soon as you get by that bridge. Maybe you need to be on it at running speed. Anyway, so let's do it one more time. Being side on there uh, really helps you to avoid his arrows as well. Cool. Okay, uh, I hope that's useful. So I'm going to try and do a video guide on the run that myself and Asland are working on at the moment. And it involves that tail cut. So uh, yeah, I thought it'd be good to do a detailed video on how to do it before trying to describe all of that while actually doing a run, which would just be crazy. So I hope that's useful. If anyone has any other tips or any uh, anything they think can be improved or any suggestions or criticisms, please feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, I'm always keen to hear better strats and improvements that I can build into my own runs. Cool, thanks very much for watching.